Hi, my name is Alex Lineker, and in this video I will present my RSS 2020 paper Safe Motion Planning for Autonomous Driving Using an Adversarial Road Model. One main promise of autonomous driving is safety. However, to achieve this we need everything, from safe perception to provable safe motion planning. In this paper we show how we can establish the safety of a predictive path following controller. In predictive controllers, one big issue is that we don't know what will happen or how the world will look like after our prediction horizon. So we can plan a trajectory that remains within the road until the end of the horizon, but depending on how the road evolves, we may not be able to stay within the road indefinitely. For example, if there is a sharp turn directly after the prediction horizon, we may not have enough time to react once we see this turn. In this paper, we propose to treat the road after the prediction horizon as an adversarial player. Uh, this allows us to establish safe sets for which we can show that whatever the adversarial road looks like, we can still follow it safely. To make this a bit more precise, we use a kinematic bicycle model in curvilinear coordinates. In this model, the shape of the road is captured by the curvature. Therefore, we consider the curvature as an adversarial player. This has the, also uh, the advantage that we can neglect the first state, which gives us the following uh, dynamics, where kappa, the curvature, is our adversarial player. We assume that, this, uh, that the curvature is bounded by kappa max, and that the goal of this uh, adversarial player is to push the car outside of the road. For this, we need road constraints. And we propose to use these road constraints, which also consider the heading of the car. To make the fight fair, we also limit the actions of our car. Uh, mainly, we uh, impose box constraints on the steering angle and the acceleration input. But more importantly, we also limit the combined acceleration to stay within a circle with radius A max. To establish our safe sets, we propose to use discrete time viability theory. Therefore, we first discretize our dynamics and then convert them to a difference inclusion, capital G. Given this difference inclusion, we can use game theoretic viability theory to establish safe sets. For the first safe set, we use the notion of a discriminating domain, where Q is said to be a discriminating domain if for all adversarial action, a part of the difference inclusion remains in the discriminating domain. Therefore, if the discriminating domain is within the constraint set, this direct, uh, directly establishes a safe set as there is always an action which keeps us within this discriminating domain. Now to our main result. Given some mild assumption, we can actually show that the set calligraphic set is a discriminating domain that is contained within the constraint set. And really the most important part of uh, this set is the upper velocity bound, uh, which depends on both the acceleration limit as well as on the curvature bound. If we want a larger safe set, we can compute the discriminating kernel, which is the largest discriminating domain within the constraint set. We can compute this using the discrete space discriminating kernel algorithm, which generates a sequence of nested set that converge to the discriminating kernel. Now, the, the issue with this is that we get a discrete set, and this discrete set we cannot directly use in an MPC. But we show that we can use a neural network classifier to learn this set, and this classifier we can then use as a constraint within our MPC. Finally, we tested our proposed safe sets in a simulation study, where we considered two test cases. The first one is a country road, which is inspired by a road near Zurich with one very tight, tricky corner. And the second one is an urban scenario inspired by an American city. Uh, we implemented an MPC using the same design methodology uh, as our safe sets and tested five different terminal constraints. The baseline versions only worked with very long horizons. However, our proposed safe sets combined with an algorithm that conservatively estimates the maximum curvature, curvature of the road ahead allow to use short horizon while still getting good driving results.